Ed, this is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I'm Christine Horn, and welcome. Happy Tuesday. Um, gosh, I wanted to share this. Today, this is we're talking about the price of perfectionism. This is episode 199. 199. I can't believe we've been doing this for almost 200 episodes. Speaking of which, tomorrow, Wednesday, every Wednesday I do Work With Me Wednesday. And um, uh, tomorrow, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do our episode 200 of Actors Daily Bread. But today I'm talking about the price of perfectionism. If you've ever said, you know, I'm a perfectionist, I I'm going to do it. I'm a perfectionist. I just, just I got to get it just right. Just stick around. Look, if this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you. Again, this is episode 199, which means you have so many episodes to catch up on on YouTube. And, I'm, and it's not just 198 because I have so many other episodes of other things on my YouTube channel. So come on to my YouTube, subscribe, please, and get into it. Binge yourself away. What's up, Penelope? I see you on Instagram. Hi, Miss Byrne46. Okay, so... Look, um, I'm Christine Horn. If you're new to me, I know I have a lot of new followers, especially on Instagram, where I get so much interaction. So I want to say hi. I'm an actress of over 20 plus years, and I'm a life and career coach for actors just like you, for newbies and for advanced actors as well. Um, I have, as of currently, as of right now, I have at least 57, 58 IMDb credits. My specialty is helping actors like you book more film and TV boost your confidence, crush your self-tapes, crush your auditions, all that stuff that trips you up, your confidence, your mindset. I'm the author of Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet, available on Amazon now. It's been an Amazon bestseller. Go ahead and get it. If you've ever had any mental chatter that has stopped you from your greatness, go ahead and get it. If you already have the book, thank you. But I only have six reviews on Amazon. Stephanie, Marcus, I'm just totally calling out names. I don't even know if you have my book. But uh, please, if you do have the book and you've read it and you liked it, please leave a, a comment, leave a review on Amazon. It really does help me uh, serve more people. But listen, today I want to talk about the price of perfectionism. And listen, if you're new to me, put one in the comments. Like that is your first time watching. I want to welcome you. If you're an OG member, put OG. We just go together. We've been rocking together for a while. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? We play watchers? Love you guys. I'm really, really pumped. Y'all put some special energy, some extra special prayers out. I'm pinned for something that I really want. Y'all know how that goes. So I'll take some extra energy, some extra juju on that. But, you know, I was thinking today, um, I was looking through some of my clients' uh, feedback and some, I've been working, this past week was so busy. Shout out to all of you who I've been working with in the past week who have booked fast track sessions with me. If you've been wanting to work with me, just like 90 minutes where we crush it, you can find out more. You can shoot me a DM. I'll tell you more. Okay. But I had a ton of fast tracks last week and something that kept coming up was, um, confidence, lack of confidence, um, and wanting to be a perfectionist. And as I look through past testimonials of some of my Booking Magnet Academy members, shout out to some of y'all who are here. Hey, Trafina. Hey, Veronica. Hey, Stephanie. Right? Um, hey, Sheila. We're going to be talking soon, right, in our fast track. Um, that's something that comes up, the reason why it's been stopping you from doing some things. And I have some other clients. I'm going to call y'all all out today about this perfectionism. You know, I've been following, um, shout out to my girl, <laughs> the emojis on Facebook, right? I mean, shout out to my girl, Ebony, um, who shared a page with me and I tagged a few of my other clients. There's a page on Instagram called the Creative Outsiders. And it's a beautiful page of women empowering women to be in the industry and learn all these different things. And they had this wonderful post last week where it was a young little girl. She looked like, I don't know, she looked like she was a young African girl. There was a big like camera in her face. Like she was little. And she immediately reminded me of my, one of my clients, Cortland Von Richard, shout out to you and your mom, Sabrina. And it was just about creating your own work and being creative and just starting wherever you are. And there was something toward the bottom that just struck me and it made me tag a bunch of my clients. And it said, perfection is just covered up fear. And that really just, ooh, Right. And as Trafina, one of my clients here on Facebook, fear is stupid. Right. But let's be real. We all encounter it. Right. But we like sometimes we like to cover it up with perfectionism. It has to be just right. I'm not going to send that marketing material out. I'm not going to send my love note out. I'm not going to send that self tape out because it's just not perfect. Or the font on my headshot is not 
just perfect. The, the color of my banner, it, uh, it's just off just a little bit. And I dare say that it's just, I so resonated with that. It's covered up fear. So if you've ever found yourself putting off something um, <laughs> because it just, it wasn't perfect enough, um, I want to share with you three things to consider moving forward, okay? So I'm not even going to put y'all on blast and say, put, put it in the comments. You know who you are. And if we're honest, we've all um, had those moments. So thank you for being here. Listen, tomorrow will be the 200th episode of Actors Daily Bread. So I want you to join me. I'm going to be live on Instagram and Facebook um, at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, which is 8.30 p.m. Eastern. So around this time. Um, but I would love for you to celebrate the 200th episode of Actors Daily Bread um, because honestly, it was created by you, for you. For you, Stephanie, Trafina, Denise, Dawn, uh, Naza, Sheena, you know, Merrily, uh, Jaqueer, you know, Ernest. It was created for you because you guys started inboxing me and just responding to my daily vlog and it's turned into this this movement called Hollywood Bound Actors. If you're not on in our Facebook group, come join us. It is one of the most supportive groups for actors I've ever been a part of. And it's a free Facebook group. It created the Booking Magnet Academy, which is now the front doors to my business where I've coached hundreds of actors who really have a desire to book more uh, TV and film. So it's really special. And honestly, I'm going to get into the three tips, but I'm just having just, I want y'all to be here with me tomorrow if you're available. And if not, watch the replay. But I can't believe like something that I'm, I'm sharing this because had I let perfectionism and uncertainty and oh my God, what will they think? Oh, I don't have makeup on today or I don't even know what to talk about or is anybody going to listen or care? If I let all that chatter, that Veronica, that's my inner critic. If I let all that chatter stop me, we would not be connected right now. I would have not written a book for you guys. I would not be working the way that I'm working. And I would not have been blessed to do God's work to pour into all the lives that I've had a chance to pour into. No, I can't D, um, DM it to you. You need, Marcus, DM me. You know what I mean? DM me. We're talking about DM you. DM me and I'll respond. Okay? <laughs> um, if you, uh, you don't know what my inbox looks like. It's cray. Okay? But if you, if you send me a DM, I will respond to you. <laughs> um, but so if you've ever let perfectionism stop you, you know, I want to, let's talk about the price of it. Because I don't think enough people talk about the price and what it's costing you to not do the thing that you say you want to do. I've talked to a lot of you. A lot of you have filled out surveys. You've DM'd me. We've talked through video message over the phone during our coaching calls. And some of y'all, a lot of you say acting pulls me no matter how much I try to walk away. Oh my gosh. It just tugs in my heart. It's like a baby that needs to be birthed. I just can't walk away from it. God, why do you keep bringing it back into my life? I want to work with Tyler Perry. I want to be on NBC. I want to be on ABC, CBS. You know, I want to be on the big screen. Like you say all that. What's up, Naza? I just shouted you out, girl, as an OG, right? So I know, I know because I live it. I know the, I know the tug. I know what it's like to work a nine to five, a five to 10, right? And, you know, but still like not lose sight of the dream. So I get that. But for those of you who are not taking the class that you say you want to take, who are not taking the headshots you, you, you say you want to take that will get you to the next level. For those of you who are too afraid to market yourself in fear of whatever, and you think it has to be perfect. Here are some three things I want you to consider tonight. And then I'm, I see these comments. I'm so glad that you're here. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 199, the best online show for actors, if I do say so myself. Number one, you know, I want you to just remember, no matter what your goal is. So for some of you, I'm going to shout out some... <laughs> Should I do it? Yes. Dawn Bino, one of my inner circle clients. She just, one of my graduates. She's been putting off her YouTube show. Y'all, if y'all know Dawn Bino, go ahead and tag her. She has a YouTube show that should be around called It Just Dawned On Me. Claudius Bridgeforth, another inner circle client who's been putting off his show, Awesome Claudius. This is for you too. Yes, I'm calling y'all out tonight. So here's the thing. In your mind, Lenny Thomas, who just now booked a starring role in Tyler Perry's new show, Ruthless, used to say this too. Christine, oh my gosh, I'm not marketing myself. I'm not putting out love notes because, and I said, why, Lenny? I said, what do you think the worst thing is going to happen? What, what in your mind is coming up for you? And this is what he said. And if you don't believe me, you can go to the HollywoodBoundActors.com and click testimonials. There's a video, a 20-minute interview I did with him. And he said, he said, I'm going to think, 
people are gonna look at my marketing and be like, do you see how the font is wrong? They're gonna be like, do you see how that was a T, a blue, but it was aqua over here. And I remember I was so tickled. I wasn't like laughing at him, really. <laughs> but it was a very real thought. And so some of you at home are not sending out that piece of marketing, are not reaching out to that casting director, are not doing the things that you say you wanna do because of something so small. And I want you to know, here's your tip number one for tonight, and I had to write these down. You're the only one who thinks it's perfect. So once you've gotten over your perfectionism, you're still the only one who thinks it's perfect. But guess what? People who are truly, like, really suffering from perfectionism, they you still don't think it's perfect. You have just come to a point in your mind of compromise and, like, F it. I'm going to just send it out. I'm put this off, it was scary, and you just have to rip the Band-Aid out, or someone has to rip the Band-Aid off for you, and you just finally do the thing. And it's uncomfortable. But guess what? That's what life is. It's going to be uncomfortable. And that's also how you know you're growing, right? That's also how you know you're growing. Hey, do me a favor. If you're an actor and you're watching this, and you have an actor friend, I'd like you to share this with them, okay? Uh, we don't grow alone. Um, and don't just keep me to yourself. <laughs> Okay, so that's number one. You're the only one who thinks it's perfect because it's still not perfect to you. And I already, I know that for sure, right? Here's another tip for you today. Um, better is, done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. So while you're waiting to get, and I remember one of my ex-boyfriends, you know, shout out to you Virgos out there. This isn't a Virgo part, a Virgo attack. That's one Zodiac. Okay, but I just know like sometimes you get in your head, right? And you overthink, you overthink, you overthink, you overthink, you overthink. And meanwhile, while you overthinking, some of us, <laughs> Sagittarius and others, we're over here doing. And is it done right? No. Could it be done better sometimes? Absolutely. But it's getting done. And so we end up, so you look at people who are on TV, you look at people who are doing the thing that you say you want to do and wondering why they're getting further along and they're, they're not even as talented as me, which you know, should be a thought we just put to the side, actually, right? Because we can't hate on what we want. Otherwise, we can't really attract it into our lives. So that's why we got to spread love. But you're wondering that. And the fact of the matter is they just took action, which leads me to my next tip for you today is to think about how turtles move. If you've been uh, watching me for a while, you know that I have a turtle, a little baby box turtles. She's like this big. She hasn't hibernated yet. Her name is Superstar. And... Superstar moves very slow to the, to the naked eye. But somehow, if I take her out that cage and I put her outside, like, I'd be like, oh, she's moving so slow. And then I turn around, she's halfway down the street. I'm like, how about, like, what happened? <laughs> so sometimes those small steps, all of a sudden, start, start picking up pace because it's about the next right action. It's about the next step. It's just the fact that you took a step. So while to, to others, you may be taking tiny baby steps. Oh, she ain't really doing nothing. Oh, that's just, she just had a background gig. Or oh, that was just one line. And I hate when people use the word just in front of anything or call it that little something. It's a pet peeve of mine. But people will say that because the, what they think they see, they don't really see. It's all an illusion. You To them, it's one tiny step. To me, Superstar is taking one baby step, but I don't know what the plan Superstar had. I don't know how Superstar got that thing navigated because when I turned around, Superstar was gone. <laughs> you know, so don't be, don't be um, discouraged by how small your steps are. But let me tell you, if you just sit and only think, you are going to miss out on so many opportunities. And so this is what I'm talking about, the price of being a perfectionist. I mean, literally the price. Those of you who are watching me who are actors who desire to work in TV, in film, right? That's my sweet spot. That's what I teach you guys. Like the price is a day's work of a day's pay. Right? Is that could be your SAG scale. That could be your SAG eligibility. That could be, you know, ten thousand dollars if you book a top a show guest star. That you don't know what could what is stopping you. So for you at home, the coaching you're putting off, and this ain't about you working with me. Certainly you can, but there's tons of amazing coaches out here. But don't keep, you know, thinking, oh, 
one day I'm going to get this just so perfect. I guarantee you, you never will. We're artists. We're always growing. That is the beauty of what we do. God, we are the most amazing people on the earth. Like we move people. We, we, I mean, we keep people glued to their couch. We evoke emotion. We bring stories to life. Like this is a gift that we have. And so I don't think there's any such thing as it being perfect. We're always growing. We're always learning, which is why we have directors directing us. Even the Meryl Streep is still being directed by somebody on set for that particular thing she's working on. And, and you got to stay open. Right? Oh, let me take a deep breath. <laughs> that was on my heart tonight. That perfectionism is holding some of y'all back. It's even holding some of you back from asking for help. I coached a young lady on Saturday who's in a, na a huge Broadway, sh Broadway show. I won't say her name. And she was like, I finally just had to admit that I needed help. And I trusted you, Christine, so I asked you. And then we did a fast track session and we worked together. But she had to just get past her own mind to admit it that you don't know everything, that you don't have all the answers. Like none of us do. I think some of y'all think once you get a couple of credits, you're good for life. No, that's why Taraji Henson travels with the coach. People have s coaches on set with them while they're shooting motion pictures and television shows. Like you gotta stay sharp. Let me check these comments. I hope y'all picking up what I'm putting down. This is episode 199 of Actors Daily Bread. We're having a 200 episode party tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. This is also this Sunday. I'm saying farewell to my Booking Magnet Academy members. So if you've ever been a member of the Booking Magnet Academy, a paid member, okay? your car was swipes ever in the past two years, you should be on my email list. And I sent the emails out um, this week and I'll send a reminder out, but we're doing a farewell booking magnet Academy party on Sunday as well, because we are growing and evolving. And just the more I grow, the more I evolve, the more everyone who's rocking with me grows and evolves because I teach my audience everything that I learn. Um, Maggie says, hey, Maggie. She says, yes, you, we always need a coach, booking magnet coach. Absolutely. What's up, Veronica? What's up, Shy time representing? We got Chicago up in here. We got South Boston. We got New York. Rep your city, <laughs> Penelope. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes, the swim, Stephanie. I remember that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Trafina, I love what she says. She says, yes, what's the worst that could happen? I ask people this question all the time. So, you know, here's the thing. Those are the three tips I gave you today. The price of being, of, of the price of perfection. What you're putting off, in all seriousness, what you are putting off could literally change your life. I'm gonna say that again. What you are putting off could literally change your life and could change the life of so many other people. I use myself often as an example because if I didn't answer the call, if I didn't show up scared, if I didn't show up uncertain, we would not be sitting here right now. I would not have so many clients testimonials on my website. I, I have so many clients that have been on television, have been in film. I mean, if we didn't do this work, now, I'm not saying it would have never happened, but the way that it has happened, the context that have been created, the community that has been created, start, it's a ripple effect. What you do in this world matters so much. You matter. Every step you take matters, even when you feel like, okay, who? All right, Christine. Every step you take matters, even when you don't know if anyone's paying attention. Take the step, no matter how scary, no matter how small, just keep showing up for yourself. The people you are watching on Instagram as you scroll and see them with millions of followers and TV shows and wow, deals, you know, like they've been grinding, they've been showing up. I was watching Kev on stage today on Instagram, who I just love. And I remember watching him years ago, just consistent, 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 consistent. Just kept showing up, kept showing up, kept showing up. 
And then I saw today in, in his Instagram feed, shout out to you, Kevin Sage, that like he was teaching a class on building your social media following. And I was like, yes, go ahead and do that thing. Like outside of the extra money, just like the people you will bless and touch and affect. There's so many, there's just so many people waiting for you to show up for you. And the price of perfectionism is high. And I just challenge each and every one of you who can hear my voice. What's up, Daytona, Florida? <laughs> right? I challenge you, each and every one of you, just take a step. Let's not go into 2020 still talking about, I got to get it just right. Bump that. You will grow. I see you, Jimmy. Yes, show up. Just grow. You will grow. Before I wrap, I mean, keep this analogy in your mind. And I love these analogies. And if you ever go to church, you hear them. But I literally have them outside my patio door. I love plants and I love trees. So <laughs> I have a lemon tree out there. I got an avocado tree and I have basil plants and peppers and all that stuff. But I don't have no, it's not, I'm not in the house. We moved to LA. So I'm not in the house right now. I used to have a house in Atlanta, but now I'm here. I'm in a nice, nice expensive apartment. Okay. And man, I be looking at that lemon tree and that avocado tree like one of these days, boy, I'm going to get me some avocados. I'm going to be on. I'm going to get me some lemons. You can't tell me nothing. It's going to be lemon meringue pie, lemon juice, lemonade. <laughs> but for now, <laughs> but for now, God, all I can do is water that plant. All I can do is water them, water them, water them, give them love, give them light, give them encouragement. You know, <laughs> but I, I swear to you, I can taste those lemons. These lemons that don't exist yet, honey. There's going to be some avocado base. I don't, my tomato plant is, is acting shady, but I have it all planned out. Let me like slice me some avocados, some tomatoes, some basil, do a little sea salt. I don't do cheese. So, you know, it's going to be a little like, you know, a little glass of Prosecco on the things, empty glass, but you get what I'm saying. Just be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Maggie says she's coming over for lemon pie. Yes, girl, I'll let you know. Hopefully I won't be in this apartment when that, by the time the lemon, I can actually put the lemon tree in the ground somewhere. <laughs> oh, yes, come through lemons. Hashtag lemons. Listen, I'm pumped up. I got to keep this energy too because I got to do some writing for like the next three hours. So it's like y'all have helped me get pumped up for my work session that I need to have with myself. But in all seriousness, we, I'm going to wrap. Thank you for being here. This is Actors Daily Bread, the best show for actors on the internet. Internet, I-N-N-A-N-E-T, the internet. Tomorrow we celebrate episode 200. I'll be right here, 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. I think I'll just do kind of an ask me anything. I might cry. I might have a hallelujah session. I might, you know, jump around and have a testimony. I don't know. I'm just going to show gratitude for each and every one of you for living the dream. And yeah, just, I'm going to just keep showing up. Unperfect. Imperfect. See, I don't even know what the word is. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Let me go.